This is the Mazda CX-3. It's a city-sized five-seat SUV priced under $40,000, which means it competes with around 35 other vehicles vying for your attention and your money. We are spoilt for choice. The CX-3 alone has around 15 different variants to consider, but which one is the pick of the pack? Let's find out. With Australia's love of SUVs holding strong, buyers are spoilt for choice as manufacturers continue to expand their offerings. Small, medium, large, five, six or seven seaters, there's a lot to consider. Mazda's smallest SUV, the CX-3, offers four model variants, being Neo Sport, Max Sport, S Touring and Akari, and at the moment a 100th anniversary special edition. We've rounded up three of these variants to give you a good idea of what's on offer and how they differ. With around $15,000 separating your entry level from your top spec variant, there's a bit of work to do to figure out what you do and don't want, what you might be willing to pay extra for and where the best value exists. So let's get started. The CX-3 range is powered by a two-litre four-cylinder petrol engine, so there are no decisions to make there. You can choose between a manual or automatic transmission, but the auto comes at a price. And at max sport or above, you can choose between front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. But again, the extra grip will cost you. Obvious exterior differences come in the form of 16-inch steels found on the Neo Sport. 16-inch alloys on the Max Sport or step up to 18s on the S Touring and Akari. But don't forget, while big wheels look good, they're not the best choice for everybody. Consider the greater replacement cost for starters. Mid and top spec S Touring and Akari add LED daytime running lights, LED fogs, front and rear lights, as well as high beam control. So there are not huge differences outside, but it's once you get inside, you start to see where your money's going. Jumping in the Neo Sport, and it is indicative of an entry-level model. The key giveaways here being a lot of hard plastics, cloth trim manual adjust seats, and a pretty basic aircon system. But the good news is you get this seven inch touchscreen, which is common across all CX-3 models. And that is home to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, standard across the range. Your entry-level budget-friendly CX-3 is not short on safety equipment. Autonomous emergency braking with nighttime pedestrian detection, a rear view camera, rear parking sensors, and six airbags are standard. Next, we step up to the Max Sport, which currently accounts for around 50% of CX3 sales. Okay, inside the Max Sport, it feels different immediately. Leather steering wheel, leather gear knob, climate control, leather seats and nice Alcantara finishes. It feels like this is the point at which your value for money is really starting to come into play. On top of the base grade, it also gains blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert and rain sensing wipers. The top spec Akari all wheel drive ups the ante again in every respect, but is it worth the extra five, 10 or $15,000 premium? Let's take a closer look. Okay, I immediately notice I've got heated seats, electric adjust driver's seat with two position memory and a sunroof. But I've got to say it doesn't scream I'm better to the extent that I thought it would. However, there are some important differences that you can't see. As can be found in the S Touring, you'll also find head up display, advanced keyless entry, driver attention alert, front parking sensors, traffic sign recognition and lane departure warning. Akari goes one better with adaptive cruise control with idle stop function and a 360 degree camera. The Napa leather upholstery, pure white metallic air vent rings, door and dash trims at a subtle point of difference. Second row space and comfort are identical across the range. All second rows get two ISOVIX positions and three top tether anchor points. When you get to max sport and above, you gain an armrest with two cup holders. Other than that, it's really just the trim levels that separate these guys. 
All CX-3s feature 60-40 split fold seats in the boot, while small is fit for a weekend away. All Mazdas come with a five-year unlimited kilometre warranty, five years roadside assist, and a five-star ANCAP safety rating. So if it was our money on the line, which one would we pick? The same as the majority of buyers, apparently, the Mazda CX-3 Max Sport. The combination of great user-friendly technology, good safety equipment and driver assist technology, a lovely interior fit and finish, and still at a reasonable price point, make it our pick of the pack.